Russia sending disposable soldiers to fight Ukraine. Russia has taken to chemically lowering its soldiers' inhibitions to guarantee these ill-trained civilians and convicts continue to fight no matter the odds in the ongoing war in Ukraine, according to a UK defence think tank. The Royal United Service Institute published a May report examining how Russia's military tactics have evolved in the second year of conflict, citing Ukrainian military personnel who said the Russian soldiers they encounter often appear to be under the influence of amphetamines or other narcotic substances. The men most likely to be battling while high are Russia's disposable infantry, which primarily consists of conscripts from the Luhansk and Donetsk People's Republic, prisoners drafted by the Wagner Group and mobilized draftees, the report said. According to the Royal United Service Institute report, these disposable troops are sent in small groups to skirmish with Ukraine's defense until killed. Ukrainian troops have noted that many of the Russian soldiers continue to advance even after being hurt. Material recovered from the battlefield suggests Russian soldiers are most likely taking the substances in liquid form, the report said. This is nothing new. Sending troops forward under the influence of drugs is actually pretty common in military history, Mick Ryan, a retired major general in the Australian Army, told Insider Media Outlet. Sometimes you replace good purpose and good leadership and good team building with drugs, Ryan told. This is what some institutions do to try and make sure their soldiers still run at machine guns.